if you meet someone who's not seen Zulu, you, you kind of think, well, I don't know if we can ever get along. Zulu is the very stuff of legend. The story of a tiny garrison of British soldiers defending themselves against all odds from a massed army of Zulu warriors. It also gave us the ultimate gift of Michael Caine in his first major film role. And Michael Caine famously said he was going to give up acting unless he got this part, and he got the part, I think, a day before his 30th birthday, and he's the best thing in it, and you can't take your eye off him. Damn funny. Like a... like a train in the distance. And Kane is centre stage for one of the film's most memorable and engrossing scenes. Tension mounts as the viewer stands in the boots of the soldiers, terrified of the menace on the horizon. It's really good on the anticipation of the beginning of battle. I mean, I, and again, I'm very often in war movies, what happens is that's the, the interesting bit, is the bit before the fighting starts. <laughs> And the Zulu warriors become more threatening still as they advance ever closer and prepare for attack. Their battle dress in stark contrast to the formality of the British soldiers, driving home the sense of timeless ritual. The Zulus were actually Zulus, and that just makes it superb. Even better, the person who plays the king of the Zulus, King Chatswayo, is Mango Sutu Bortolesi who's actually the modern-day king of the Zulus. And thanks to Chief Butalezi and the naturalistic acting of his noble warriors, the set-piece battle scenes are utterly convincing and authentic. I mean, this may as well be a science fiction film. You've got people landing on completely alien culture, and then there's that moment which kind of brings it back and reminds them of their, um, their wives and kids. Yes, another key scene which lives long in the memory and stands at the very heart of what the film is about is the moving moment when the two sets of enemies use their singing voices rather than their weapons to intimidate each other. It's really tribal. Like the tribal nature you get at football derby matches uh, when one side starts singing and then the others go. Is that kind of natural aggression but through song? Zulu made a very powerful impact on me. I, I just love it as a spectacle. I love it as a whole feast of the senses, the sound, the fear that you get as well. So few against so many uh, a hero's film from every respect and every angle. <laughs> 